So, obrigados or kados? Well, actually, fake obrigados, or as some people call them, folklies. Now, obviously, I don't own the real ones because they cost like $300 or something, so this isn't gonna be some fancy comparison between the fake ones and the real ones, and instead, I'll be mostly focusing on the fake ones. So, I bought these off the good old AliExpress for $16 US. And after two or three weeks, they arrived. Now it comes in your very standard AliExpress sunglasses case, except it has an Oakley logo on it. And inside it, we have a glasses pouch with an Oakley logo here, a microfiber cloth, a spare nose piece, and last but not least, an instruction manual, which I threw away. Anyways, according to what they state, this weighs 30 grams, but mine weighs 37 grams, which is fine, you know. If you want to save 7 grams, then shave your back or something. Now, in one of my old videos where I reviewed the Cupvo sunglasses, which are knockoffs of the 100% Speedcrafts, apparently, in that entire 7 minute video, not once did I show how they look like on my face. So, in case I forget, um, yeah, let's see how they look like on my face. So, yeah, here you go. They look pretty, pretty rad, huh? Now if you look really closely, you can see that this lower curved part is rubbing my cheek, especially if I smile. Now, I'm no genius, but I'm sure that's not supposed to happen. I do believe that it is not because it's a knockoff, and instead it's because I have a really big head. Personally, I don't mind that it's rubbing my cheek because outward riding, well, everywhere hurts. So this is just a tiny little nuisance, kind of like an ant crawling on your skin. Which now that I think of it, that's quite a big nuisance, but you know what I mean. Now apparently, from the research that I've done, one very important test to see whether your sunglasses are good is to see whether it falls off when violently shaking your head. So let's go. See, it didn't fall down. It did droop a little bit though, but I mean, it's not that hard to do this. So yeah, according to the test, it's good. Also when you're really sweaty or you're just making some really weird facial expressions, like, like that, because your legs are hurting, it doesn't really droop down all that much, so that's pretty cool. Now because not everyone's heads are the same, you know, my head is really big and someone else's head may be really small, these cartos have these adjustable um, things. I don't know what they're called, so let's just call them rigs. Now on the real cartos, the way you adjust these rigs is by opening up this little slot here, adjusting the angles of the rigs, and then once you're happy with it, you close the slots. Now on the fake ones though, to adjust the angle, you open up the slots, adjust the angle, and once you're happy with it, you close the slot. Except in this case, you don't actually need to open anything as you can just move them. Yeah, I just wasted your time. Now one thing I really like is the fact that there are practically zero dead spots because of the long, sweeping, frameless design which allows you to shoulder check with ease. Unless you're one of those people that don't show the check, then in that case I would recommend these bad boys. There is a ever so slight lens distortion around the nose piece area, but I mean unless you're looking at your nose all the time, it's impossible to notice. Another thing I really like is how wind resistant these are. Compared to these, the amount of wind that gets to my eyes is incredibly little, which is quite important for me as I wear... Oh shit. Contacts! So it's really annoying when wind gets to my eyes because I have to like... Which you know that's not really good when you're going through an intersection. So yeah. So what you're seeing here is me running the cartos and the carpvos under some water so that you can see how wind resistant these cartos are. Now I'm no expert aerodynamicist with all the CFD and all the technology so this is the best that I can do. So as you can see with the cartos, all the water is being pushed to the side of the lenses and away from your eyes. But with the carbvos, it's just spilling all over behind the lenses. Now this can be good or bad depending on what you want. If you're like me and really dislike wind getting into your eyes, then something like this is pretty good. 
but if you're someone who suffers from lens fogging, then something with more ventilation like this is pretty good. Now, after gathering opinions from my friends, I have deduced that you either absolutely love these, or you absolutely hate these, and you think they look like shit. Now, obviously, having bought them, I think they look really, really cool. The weird frameless design with this weird nose piece thingy, it just looks freaky and really cool. Now, the first time I saw these was at La Volta 2020 when Chris Froome wore them, and I was like, holy shit, dude. That is the ugliest fucking thing I have ever seen. Fast forward a few months, Mark Cavendish started winning again. Hooray! And he was wearing these. Well, to be more specific, he was wearing the 24K gold ones with the, uh, the Sprinter's green jersey at the Tour de France, which was really cool. Now, interestingly enough, I've seen reviews where the genuine Kato's have had disgusting failures where this plastic part here debonds from the lenses, which is just disgraceful, you know? From a, for a lens that costs $300, that should not be happening. Which begs the question, if it's going to break anyways, why don't you just buy the fake ones? Funny enough, I've seen people talking about these pit vipers in a similar fashion, some even saying that the AliExpress ones are actually more durable than the real ones. Oh, someone's ringing my doorbell. Yeah, you can just hear the, um, the creakiness. Now as you can see with my sunglasses, these are more of a yellow, blue, and green color. Which is a little bit of a shame because the one I ordered was the 24K gold one. And I'll just put it side by side. Yeah, unless you're colorblind. These are clearly not the same, which is a little bit of a shame, but hey, it's AliExpress. To answer a few other questions, number one, is it polarized? No. Number two, does it have interchangeable lenses? No. Number three, does it hurt my eyes, nose, or ears out while riding? No. So if you have any other questions, do feel free to leave them down in the comments. Do I have anything else? Nope. That's it for today's video guys, I hope you have enjoyed this short little video on these Oakley Cartos. Folklies, I should say. Uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, do feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. I'm actually really close to a thousand subscribers, which is insane. You know, a thousand people watching my videos. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, if you have any questions about these, or just any questions about me or my bike in general, leave them down in the comments. Yeah, but that's all for today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed and as always, I will see you guys next time. Good night everybody. Now to answer a few other questions, I have a list here. Now, question number one, does it have interchangeable lenses? No. Number two, is it polarized? No. Number three, does it hurt my eyes, nose, or ears when riding? No. Number four, will it help you get bitches? Clearly not. <laughs>